Hi folks, it's Matt from the lab. Today we are talking about the Castle synthesizer made by a company called Bastel. Dig it, small, battery operated, handheld, portable, fully functional digital synthesizer. Patchable. It's important. And it's powered by three AA batteries. Very easy. You know, you can get them at IKEA. Extremely cheap. The batteries, like, uh, it's it's really strange when the batteries are running out of juice. Juice, juice. It's like juice. the the pitch juice. gets lower, slightly lower, and the and the speeds slightly. But uh, you can also power the castle by a USB connection, and then you don't even have to worry about them batteries. The one I have is V1.5, and the V in this case stands for version. I don't know what they did, you know, whatever. They fixed something. Now it makes even weirder noises. 100 bucks, new. And uh, there's an output that you can plug. It's an eighth inch output. You can plug headphones directly into it. Just, you can be there with your, I mean, you can be there with your earbuds. Castle, and it takes up no space. Secretly synthesize sound wherever on the bus park in a hammock in a car i've done it hey i've done that on the beach plug that right into the aux in and you're good drive around you're the envy of everyone that sees you and hears you leave me come up with some some of this playing people think you're cool no doubt um okay um this is a digital synthesizer need to mention that it's that's why it's so tiny like a like a modular synthesizer like a regular whatever it has many patch points the castle has many patch points and by patch point I mean a place where you can take a little tiny wire that they give you yeah this one uses the tiny wires and you go from one output or input into another and so you're changing the signal path you're modifying the Tones, various ways. Your, your, the, the, the currents flowing through this thing are are being intersected, and you are in control of that when you when you patch. So that's the power of the patch, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. It's not. It's fun, 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 fun. So yeah, you do need. I mean, this thing probably should come with a magnifying glass and maybe some pliers or something because it's hard to, it's hard to patch. patch. You know you you know what you want to patch and you're trying to get that wire and, and it's like, yo, this is hard sometimes, sometimes but whatever. So, uh, okay, okay anyway, anyway, let's talk about features of the castle. Features of the castle. Features of the castle. You got two oscillators. You got two oscillators. I have to get out the instructions. You got one here. That's like... Uh, a little more random stuff going on with that one. More a little easy. funkier so than the other. You have two different oscillators, and you have in this in this little device you have what they call synthesis modes. And there's a little there's a little patch point. There's two of them that just say mode. And when you you patch into those, you I don't know you engage know. to become an entirely different beast. You patch into one of them modes, uh, and you'll be off in a zone no. soon. The synthesis type is phase modulation. And then with the access to various and modes, the like noise mode. That's with the main oscillator. Track and hold the modulation. Second, secondary oscillator. We have phase distortion mode. Ooh. And we have the really weird one. This is called formant synthesis. I'll try to play little examples of each. Formant synthesis sounds almost like a like an organ or something. Actually, I have something interesting to say about that. Formant mode is inspired by the Hemholtz synthesizer. One of the first synths ever built by accessing different combinations of harmonics over fundamental, creating so-called formants or vowels. And beyond that, there's uh, there's something called tonal noise mode. And the noise the noise mode is kind of interesting in that the noise mode is kind of interesting in that it is these are my words. The noise modes are simply a granular playback of the flash memory where the program is stored of the sound processing chip. There you have it. Okay, four. Um, here's some different patch points. We, we have the main oscillator out. We have the secondary oscillator out. We have a low frequency oscillator. That's a little blip every time the oscillator resets. We have the low, f low, f low. F low oh, sorry. Low, low frequency oscillator pulse, which is um, anyway. Oh my God. We have the low frequency oscillator pulse, and we have the low frequency oscillator triangle wave. 
That's right. Moving on, we have different modulations that we can perform here. We have a modulation of the pitch, pitch mod. So that's a patch point and a knob that controls the depth of the pitch modulation. We have a timber, tam excuse me, a hamber. It's spelled timber, but it's pronounced timbre. That's right. We have a timbre modulation. We also have a rate modulation knob and patch point. There's an LFO reset, and there's other things. So, but the main, the main, not the main, I should say, the, uh, One way to really get funky with this thing is to, is to go right here to this step output. Now, what that is, is the, the castle is sometimes whatever you have patched to the stepped output, the castle is receiving various voltages from this, okay? Now, this this is a digital, this is a tiny little digital synthesizer. It has limit. <clears throat> now, what you want from something like this is a random output of voltages. You know, you're getting like that R2-D2 type pre crunch and that way you do end up with essentially All right, that was our overview, analysis, instructional piece for the Castle Synthesizer. Enjoy. This is Matt from the lab. Thanks.